Good morning, I'm IT2 Villalobos. I'm an ACFL here at the Naval War College. Today I'm going to be presenting to you a workout that encompasses upper body. We're going to be working our back and our chest and the secondary muscles including our triceps and our biceps. So before we get started we'll do a warm-up. Let's get to the workout. So we're going to go ahead and do the first portion of this workout, which we're going to be working out our back and our chest. Remember, before any workout, make sure that your body's warmed up correctly. You don't want to get injured at any point during these workouts. We want to get the blood flowing to make sure we have the best workout we can. So please remember that. So for the first portion of this workout, we're going to be working out our back and our chest, along with the secondary muscles that include the biceps and the triceps, because those are the secondary muscles to those main body parts we're going to be working on. So I'm going to demonstrate an exercise you can do with free weights and then an exercise you can do with a household item, which I will be demonstrating using a backpack. So for the first exercise is going to be four sets of rows supersetted with 10 push-ups. So what we're going to do is we're going to be doing rows and I'm going to demonstrate this with the dumbbells. If you have dumbbells, great. If not, I'll show you the alternative method using a backpack. If you have heavier weights, that's fine. If you have lighter weights, that's fine. We're really focusing on contracting the muscles. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do dumbbell rows. What you wanna do, keep your feet at a good distance. Make sure your body's straight. With the dumbbells, you're gonna go down. So you're gonna be like this, just like that. Make sure you're taking pressure off your lower back. What you're gonna do with the weights, you're gonna come right up. You should feel your back contract in your lats. And remember to come slowly back down, bring up the weights slowly down, bring it up. Make sure that you're contracting those lats for about a good second, bring it down. You're gonna do that for 10 repetitions. Remember, if you have a heavier weight, try to go for maybe six to eight repetitions. If you have a lighter weight, that's fine. Try to go for 10. What I really want you to do is emphasize the contraction that's going on in your lats. As you're doing those exercises, you're utilizing a lot of your bicep as well, which is what you're working out whenever you work out your back. So remember, 10 repetitions. If you can't do 10 repetitions with whatever weight you have, that's fine. Let me go ahead and demonstrate this workout as well with the household item you might have with your backpack. So what you want to do if you want to create more weight, put items in the backpack to have more resistance. So what you want to do, grab your backpack like this, come back to that stance that we were doing, and what you're going to do is you're going to bring the backpack up just like this, preferably to your chest, come back down, just like this. Remember, feel the contraction in your lats. That's what I want you to focus on, and that's where you should feel it, is in this part of your lats that helps build your back. So, 10 repetitions on that first part. What I want you to do after that immediately is superset that with push-ups. So, remember, I'll go ahead and demonstrate the push-up. Remember, do not flare out your arms. What you want to do is keep your arms in tight, and when you go down, come back up, make sure you pinch those elbows on the way up to get the most out of the contraction in your chest. You're also working out your triceps on this. So down, up, down, up. You're going to do 10 of those. Even if you can do 10, that's fine. Do as many as you can. I just want you to focus on the perfect form. That way, those fewer repetitions that you're doing become more later on because your body's getting stronger. Four sets of that, 10 repetitions of rows, 10 repetitions of push-ups, superset, and that'll complete the first portion of the workout. So for this next part of this workout, we're gonna be working out a lot of our chest, as well as I'll give you an alternative way to work out your biceps. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do three sets. We're gonna do 10 push-ups, followed by five resistance push-ups. And then we're gonna go ahead and use our own body to demonstrate a bicep curl. And I will demonstrate that for you after the push-up demonstration. So we're gonna go down into the push-up position. We're gonna do 10 push-ups again. Remember, when you come back down, when you, whenever you're down and you come into the up position, make sure you pinch those elbows at the top. Let's contract those muscles so that we're feeling the chest as well as the deltoids. Keep your core tight, two packs in the air. Keep everything tight on the way down, come back up. That should be the contraction. After you do those 10, we're gonna go straight into resistance push-ups. So, I'll demonstrate that again. On the resistance push-up, really go down with the movement. Go down slow. On the way up, explode. So slow, explode. 
slow, explode. This is a good way to work out the chest as if something was on your back, you had weight. This really emphasizes a various alternative way to work out your chest. So 10 regular push-ups, five resistance push-ups for a total of 15. Remember, if you can't do the push-ups to those quantity of repetitions, that's fine. Do what you can, do it at your pace, just work on your form, and over time, you'll be able to do more push-ups. So now, I'm gonna demonstrate a bicep curl that you can utilize if you don't have weights. So, we're gonna do 10 bicep curls each arm. So a good way to do this is you're gonna put your arm out like this, you're gonna close this fist with this hand, with the other hand, you're gonna put it over that closed fist. What you're gonna do is you're gonna put resistance with this hand, not this one. So you're gonna put resistance onto this. Do not allow your arm to come up. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna curl this up, but create resistance with the arm that's not curling. Come back down, create resistance. You should feel the blood flowing through your bicep, in each head of your bicep, your long bicep, your headed bicep, your short headed bicep. This is an alternative way if you don't have weights. So, do the other side now, close the fist, put the hand over, create resistance with the arm that you're not utilizing. Do not let this arm come up, that's what you're trying to do. So bring it up, go back down. Bring it up, go back down. You should be able to feel all the blood flowing through your biceps, that's an alternative way to do that. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna do 10 repetitions on each arm for the same amount of sets that we did the push-ups. Supersetted, no rest preferably. If you don't want to do that, please take the time that you need so that you do the workout properly. That'll complete the second portion of that workout. So now that we've completed both parts of the workout, the final portion of our workout today is gonna to be a little core work. We're gonna do four sets for our core. We're gonna do 30 second planks followed by ab twists. I'll demonstrate both exercises and for the ab twist, I'll demonstrate an alternative way if you're not able to do the workout correctly. So let me go ahead and get down into the plank position for you. So when you're in the plank position, remember, you want your arms to be under your chest. You want to alleviate all the pressure off of your shoulders. So just like this, keep your core tight, your body tight, hold this position for 30 seconds. After those 30 seconds are up, you're going to go ahead and get on your two pack and we're going to go ahead and demonstrate the ab twist. So I'll demonstrate the alternative way to do this exercise first. So what you want to do is get in the sit-up position, and when you come up, you're going to go like this, twisting each side. So you're going to do alternating ab twists. You're going to do 20 repetitions total. It's going to be 10 each side. You can do them at whatever pace you'd like. Just make sure that you're working your core. When you're twisting, you should feel it in both parts of your core as well as your posterior chain when you do this exercise. Do that for 20 repetitions. For the more advanced people, if you want it to be a little bit advanced, what you can do is you can have your legs up in the air, do it like this. So we're gonna do that for four sets. You're gonna do 30 second planks, followed by 20 repetitions of ab twists, 10 each side. You're gonna repeat this nonstop superset. Remember, if you can't do it, just do it at the, label, the pace that you're able to do it. Take your time, you have all the time you need. Please complete the workouts properly and that'll complete this portion of the core workout. Now that we completed both portions of the workout, including the core workout that we just did, remember that you can utilize any of these workouts any day of the week you'd like. You can always mix it up, mix in several of these workouts with anything else you see on any of the videos that we produce. I'm IT2 Violovos, thank you for joining me in today's workout and we'll see you next time.